Greetings and welcome to Bubble Everything, I'm Bubble and you're fantastic. Today is the day I have finally been saving up gems through the Mastery Pass and through, there was actually a daily deal in the store one time to spend like 500 gold to get a few hundred gems, really awesome. And I won a few, I did pretty well in the previous drafts. So, I'm putting all of that towards getting some packs. And specifically I've been saving up to get 9,000 so that I can get and never use, but still just have in my collection because I think the artwork is so nice. The... Oh my, you're killing me here. Come on, game. I, I'm trying to play you. Here we go. The card style for Satoru, Satoru Umezawa. This artwork, I think, is fantastic. I would love to have that, like, on my wall, along with, like, other things that I have on my wall already. I would take them off the wall to show you, but I just put them on there. It's kind of annoying to take them off. There's actually, like, a like an Asian-inspired um, Sea of Thieves thing here, which looks really sweet. Uh, you know what? I'll take it down. Why not? Uh, I, uh, I just put you up today, and now I'm taking you down already. There you go. Here's the thing I have. Uh, the green might not be showing up super well. Oh, no! There's the lamp I put in the corner of the room. But, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> that went horribly. There's a plane of glass in the front. The glare was amazing. Okay. Anywho. I love this artwork. I could see it as a tattoo if it meant more to me, but it doesn't mean much to me, I know. So, anywho. That's why we're saving it for 9,000. And I'm saving up gold to get, um the Kamigawa lands, so we're not getting more packs than that, but here we go. Spending all the all the gems, 9,000 9, packs, I wish, but 9,000 gems have been converted. It says acquired, then it says waiting, to 45 packs. Without further ado, oh, and I get a... I get a rare? Do I get Satoru? Oh, they gave you one of him, okay, cool. Still probably never gonna use him, but that's nice to have. One less rare I have to worry about actually opening. I know, that's not the best way to look at it, but I... Alrighty, so, without further ado, like I already said, 45 packs, let's go. I am hoping to get some March of Otherworldly Light, uh, Wanderer, uh, Kaito, because I really want to make... I'm going to craft, I have a few resources as it is, I'm going to craft a... Oh, hello, Soul Transfer. Cool. <laughs> I'm going to craft a Super Friends deck, either Esper or Azorius, maybe I have enough for both. Um, and I want to do this just to see if I get some of the new cards first before I spend the wild cards. Thundering Raijo I think is amazing. Unfortunately, I don't think Mono Red is really great right now. It's Mono White, really, is where you want to be. At this current state in the meta. Goro Goro, alright. Wish I had you before I crafted one of you for a goblin deck that did not do so well. But hey, it was a viewer request, request and I have no regrets. Ah, Tameshi Reality Architect. Okay. Okay. I thought this card would be pretty good. Uh, it has seen zero play at all. Um, just nothing, but... I'm glad that I have it, if I potentially try to experiment a little bit. I think the card is good, I just... feel like maybe the format's too fast for it to shine. This is a meme. We may attempt to fulfill the meme at some point, but at the moment this is a meme. So, okay. Form, arms, and body. Is that how it goes? Form, arms, I don't know. And and I'll form the head. I don't know. That's, that's the end part. That's not bad. That's one March of Otherworldly Light right there. I like it. That's the best. That's water. Stay hydrated, folks. Okay. Especially as we are slowly creeping out of ugh, this card of a uh, of winter going into spring and eventually summer all right let's see how nasty this summer ends up being i predict it will be nasty at sushi the blazing sky i haven't seen you hit the board at all since like the first few days but you know what there's a card i will take it maybe i try something with like all the dragons probably not but it's nice to have Unless I have one of, like, the, you know, the main cards for the set. Okay. We'll continue. Spinning wheel kick! Ah! Lizard blades, alright. I think I already have two of them that I crafted, and I guess now I have three. Sure. Not a huge fan, but it could end up being really strong. How many- I just bought 45 packs. I spent 9,000 gems. <laughs> My gems are now in the triple digits. <laughs> to get 45 packs plus the... Satoru Mizawa. 
I really wanted this guy to be good. I still think it's actually pretty good, but I've seen no one play it. So, hey. I mean, come on, Toad Rider. You gotta give credit to the Toad. Alright, next up we have a Ganjo Uprising. I have not seen this played at all, and I really can't blame them. How come so professionalism at the... What in the world is that? Wealthification... Wealthificationizationalism? Isationalism? Um... Yes. That is a question, and I will respond with the yes. Also, Junji. Junji Ito right here. Not Junji. I mean, it's not very terrifying, but I've seen this card played once or twice. Um... <laughs> that is a bad sportsmanism. Uh, there was some little robot dude in one of the Justice League like series, or was it a movie? I think it was a movie. Um, animated ones, not not the new one. It was like on Netflix or something. But there was some creature, there was some alien that came out, and it was like, oh, these should be worthy opponents, you know. And then the little robot added ism to the end of everything. Bad sportsmanisms. How dare you? Not abide by the rules. Oh. <laughs> As in ass kicking ism, I don't know. The reality ship. Okay. More of a draft card. Draft like top tier draft card, but still, yeah. Jumanji. Oh, Jumanji, yeah. <laughs> Why not? Jumanji Dragon. Totally. Here you go, Mythic Rare Wild Card. That's a planeswalker. That works. That is um Kaito. That is one Kaito. As well as the one that I just got from progression here is gonna be another Kaito. And I'm gonna get another one. Uh, Anchor Triviality has seen no play, and I hate it. I sh I feel like I should see something. I want it to be that big old seven drop artifact, seven uh drop vehicle. Shadow Spetification. <laughs> I I like being able to think that I can do a good first reading of things, but all of these we're opening dragons. Everybody, listen. This is Kamigawa Dragon Dynasty. Actually, we've opened at Sushi, Junji, and Kairi. Now, the only ones left are what Ow and the. What, Jugen? Or what I think it is? The the green one? Um, wow, okay, I'm, I'm giving my buddy here uh, for good luck. But damn. Sushi. At Sushi. Oh, I love it. I love it. Let's calm down with the sationalism. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Very well said, Chad. The mod has spoken. Shadow Spiderfication... Spiderfication to sationalism. Okay. Okay. I like that you're not just putting ism at the end, but sensationalism, okay. How are- it's sensational. But it's not sensational, it's just sensational. Ooh, two Aganjos, not feeling it, not feeling it. Roger's thatification sensationalism. Alright, alright, welcome to the chat. If you would like your own sensationalisms, please feel free to join me. <laughs> Twitch.gv slash bubble everything, there's a link down below. I'm clicking on this and it's not flipping over. That's why. Because I didn't want- I did not want the- Satoru Umezawa, but there it is. Fun little note there, uh, the virus beetle that we saw at the bottom there, uh, the playtesting name for that was Fatal Bug. Let's see, Thousand Faced Shadow. Yeah, not really doing a whole lot with ninjas. Just throwing it out there. Mm, aside from the Kaito unblockable ninja token, that I can see. Yeah, that has some value. Alright, here we go. Let's keep going. Keep going, I think we're getting there. I can feel it. I, I feel like we're gonna get a... In particular, what do I think we're gonna get? Uh, not necessarily in March. It might be the Wanderer. The Wandering Emperor. I, I feel like the Wandering Emperor... Go with your goddamn gut! Still happy, though. Still awesome. Okay, that is actually what I wanted to get there. I, I said it, and then I was like, no, it can't be that one. There's no way it's gonna be the one that I... <laughs> that I think is a little more valuable because I have many more mythic rares than rares. Okay, awesome card. There we go. That's what I wanted. Yes, I largely want rares. I think I have most of the planeswalkers I want to throw into the decks anyway, so. Rasana Asari Commander. Eh, okay. Can be your commander. <laughs> Alright, where are we now? I do think I want to make a video, and I guess since I'm putting this on YouTube, then you'll hear me now and be like, huh. Best you can get is a rare wild card? I did, yeah, right? I got one of those. Aside from progression, I got one of them, like, opening the packs. Uh, Dragon Kong Reborn? Eh, yeah, yeah, okay. Um, just going off of what we know so far of New Capenna, which is not much, but just recapping the, um, the announcement video. 
and why I'm hyped for it, I hate you. I despise you with every fiber. This fish. This fish in particular gets all of my hatred. You're kind of okay. I don't mind you. You seem like you're just trying to get along with the symbols, like, just let me know when. But, like, this fish, though, deserves all of all of my negative neurons just firing at once. Just... Uh, this card's so bad, in case you were wondering. This card is terrible. Godfather with the fishism. Okay, at least the, the face shows that you are not promoting the fishism. Soaking's on. Okay, cool. I'm never upset to get rare lands. Rare lands are some of the top crafts. So, definitely good. Alright, next up we have... Again, not upset. Not mad about that one. Could potentially even put this in the uh, in a few decks here and there. But it's tough to run like monocolored lands like this in three color things. But I can see it working. If I don't have one already. I think I already have like one or two though. Another Thousand Face Shadow. Not too exciting, but okay. Lego Lands, the best lands in the set. Lego Lands? Lego Lands. Sure. Eater of Virtue. Eh. Okay. It's kind of boring. Haven't seen that see any play, really. Legendary. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, that makes more... I was like, Lego? Do they just fit together so well like a Lego? Do they go into any deck because they come in untapped? <laughs> Cloud Steel Kirin. I like the design for this. Um, and stuff. But I don't see much use for it. I mean, I guess... Can you equip it to a... No, I think you... You can equip it to, like, a creature land, but then when the land stops becoming a creature, it becomes unequipped. So... At least that's my understanding of things, so... Hmm. All right, Invoke Justice. That is... That's the reanimator. I want to make Mono White reanimator. I opened the Mono White Dance of the Mance, the seven mana return all artifacts and enchantments, I think it is, um, from the graveyard to the battlefield. And that makes me want to run this as well. As well as Doomscar, because that egg, that destroys. Maybe not so much Farewell, because that exiles, but I can still do that if I need to, just I'd rather not. Reanimate Kami War? Oh, that sounds good. You can also use it with a, the Restoration of a Ganjo to ramp. That thing is a 3-mana White Saga. Where, you know, you pull a land out of the deck and then you discard a card and put a 2-drop, two, 2 or less drop back into the battlefield. Which can be the land. Or it can actually just be like, um... I don't know, whatever the hell you want it to be. <laughs> uh, usually it would be... Uh, Professor of Symbology is a good one. Hinata did not make a Hinata deck. I'm trying to go for the whole like two mana magma opus, but I am encouraged now. Possibly, if there is the type of deck you'd like to see, please feel free to let me know in the comments down below. Again, this is on YouTube. Lion Sash, seeing some play in like Legacy and even Vintage. Eh. Maybe not Vintage, maybe more so Legacy. Although I think it's, yeah, I could see some, some play in Vintage. I mean, if Scavenging Ooze sees play, then this is see play. It's not bad at all. Unfortunately, there's no Legacy format that's historic, but there's no Legacy in, you know, this client. And out on the Sash? Yeah, yeah. Wow. I guess it's not a whole bunch to lag here. Okay, I'm used to responses being, like, really late. That was pretty, pretty on point. Nice, all right. Today might be a good day to stream. This is the one I want to get in with the Tinker thing. You know, it saves you, like, three mana. And then you can crew it immediately, like, turn four, attack with the 7-7 seven, seven, Trample Haste. Sounds okay. Another Goro Goro. Although Goblin Samurai sounds amazing, I don't really need these so much. All right. So let's see now. We're getting down there. Here we go. Satsuki the Living Lore. Haven't seen this see any play at all, but I like it. I like like the anime card style for it too. Like, I, I don't know. I, I like anime. What are you gonna say? <laughs> and no one was surprised. All right, another Colossus. I mean, it's a common. I don't really care about that. Um, this card wins me games in draft. It was amazing. Besaidu. Okay. Okay, Besaidu is cool. Ability's all right here. It's better than other formats. Where people aren't playing as many basic lands, but it's okay here. Kyodai, you know what? You count as a legendary dragon, okay? You count as one of them. So, got another big dragon, folk. Uh, lovely. Okay. There we go. Alright, pack number 11. Or actually, rather, pack number 30. 
four. Uh, yeah. All right, another teaching to the Kirin. Okay, so we have the final ten packs. Any predictions for the final ten packs? Let me know. Let me know now. Uh, here's something I was recently printing. If you can believe it or not, this was a failure. This was not... I caught it. It didn't hit the ground. Um, this is a failed print. It is just part of these lovely, lovely heart boxes. If you want one, I could probably send you one. Let me know. But I also did 3D print. I got the printer right here. It can make so much spaghetti. Okay. Um, but in the past, I've given away, given away 3D prints. That is where I have... I went with that. It's like, if you want to predict something, do I give something away? Maybe? Could do. I don't know. Alright, so we're predicting farewell. Ten Umezawas. Umezawas Jite? No, you're thinking Satu or Umezawa. Oh, this the other Umezawa saga, but I don't think that's rare. Um, Alright, so we're predicting... I'll give you one Umezawa. If I open two of them, then... That'll be amazing, because I think I already had one, so I shouldn't be able to open more. Um, Kaito, farewell, Biting Palm Ninja, for Godfather, okay. Umazawa for Chad. And I think that Zenith usually goes with, like, a rare or mythic rare wild card, so... Fair enough there. Alright, let's see. We're cracking packs. Pack number 10. Kaito! Yes! Oh my goodness. Godfather, that was your first guess of the three there. Lovely job. Oh, wow. That is actually awesome. All right. Kaido saves me a wild card there. Definitely one of the things I wanted to get. Good stuff. <laughs> Very pleased. Okay, moving onwards. Easy pulls. There you go. Easy stuff. No problem. The money is easy today. All right. I might not have to use many wild cards at all. This is a good idea. This I have no regrets for anything here. I don't have many regrets. Another mythic. Not really... Interesting. This is where I thought it was Jugan. I think Jugan might Jugan might be the older, like the original Kamigawa dragon. I don't know if it's the old one or if it's the new one. Uh, whatever. That's where I was getting the name for the green dragon. I could be wrong. Um, but okay, double mythic. I'll take it. If this is farewell, we are sending Godfather to Vegas. <laughs> if it is farewell, and biting Palm Ninja. Uh, if it's farewell, I'll pay for the plane ticket. If it's biting Palm Ninja, I'll give you money to gamble. Now let's see. I'll, responsibly. If you're old enough. I'm pretty sure we're old enough here. Okay, rare wild card. Zenith, I'll give you credit for that one. Okay, I I put you in there. Don't worry, I got you. I got you. Uh, Godfather, I really hope you already live in the uh, in the West Coast area. In which case, maybe I just pay for a taxi. But otherwise... Technically... Okay, God. Okay, all right. Hold on. No, we're, not, we're not going to go that easy, okay? I got, you gotta put up a fight. But you still called that Kaito like first pick, which is awesome. Son of a... <laughs> okay. <laughs> I would th I would actually throw this, but I'm worried about damage to things. What did you say? <laughs> uh, so farewell, you're going to... <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, Godfather, are you at least in the United States? <laughs> Still one more to hit. Oh. One more to hit to get some money for the tables. Or slots, I don't know, whatever you prefer. Again, if you're of legal age to gamble, because, you know, legal stuff is going on YouTube, I don't know. I don't want to promote underage irresponsibility. You are from down under. That complicates things. Um, but okay. <laughs> you know what, Godfather? If you want something 3D printed, I will send it to you. Like, a, a reasonable size. Something that can fit within within a, a 6 by 4 by 10 box, which is what I have here that I used to ship bread things in. I will I will mail it to you. I have mailed things to the... Well, I've mailed things across the country before. Like, to outside the States. Um, to Sweden, and I think to... Germany? And also Puerto Rico, even though it's like, you know, kind of sort of US. So... If this last thing, if, in these last six, if there is, what was the last call? Biting Palm Ninja. Then I'll, I'll upgrade that to pretty much almost whatever you want. But yeah, you, you will get a three, free 3D print if you want one. It does not have to be a heart box. It, it, it can be things. We can send him to the Crown Melbourne if this is Vegas. <laughs> uh, it's, it's the Vegas of Australia? Okay. 
I believe it's pronounced Melbourne. I have another friend from Australia. We got the dragon, though. Korra. Okay, so it's not uh, Jugan. That's the old one. Korra's the new one. The only dragon we haven't opened is Ao. And we did get a white dragon. It was just not, you know, the mythic one. But damn, like, dragons much? Okay, cool. Dragons of Kamigawa? Still five more chances? Dude. Dude. Five more packs to get Biting Palm Ninja? For the record, I know we don't have four of them already, so, like, it is possible. Okay, otherwise, I'll double check afterwards just to show you, like, the odds, but... Light Paws? Eh. God damn, though. Fucking Godfather with the calls, my goodness. And the winning lottery numbers are... Just, just let me know. Grease Fang. I really like Grease Fang. I tried to craft a deck, just to, I don't know, make a deck list with a minute. Unfortunately, I couldn't really find much, but... I didn't really come up with a whole lot, but I still like Grease Fang. I think there's a lot of value there. Actually, from Melbourne? Wow, that's cool. Yeah, I hear that if you kill it Melbourne, like, the Australians all just getting up and, like, attack you. Oh, this better be my last one, I swear to God. I hate these damn things. They're useless. Um, I don't care if it ends up being a top-tier card before. I hate it right now. <laughs> I mean, in the future, I hate it now, yeah. Um... I'll double check and make sure I have all four of these, though, because I hate these, and I don't want to see them ever again. If I could disenchant these things, I would. Although, I guess I shouldn't, because I don't want it to be back in the rare card pool that I can get. Alright, this is the second to last one. Invoke Calamity. The last card. The last rare mythic rare card. The last pack. For the record, it does have to be Biting Palm Ninja. It cannot be a rare wild card. I haven't seen it actually see any play in older formats. Surprisingly. Um, I could probably, I haven't looked for it specifically, but I haven't seen it, um, make any waves. Maybe it can. I saw someone try it, like, day one, give it a shot, and it was, like, medium. You said it in your head? I, I believe you. I, I think Godfather's a man of his word. But, there was a major combo deck. Oh, I won't. I'm sure, I'll take a look at that. Sounds kind of cool. Alright, here we go now. The final pack. Here we go. And just in time, we also get a rare wild card from the progression. Alright, blah blah blah. Klein Torment. Pretty cool. I like the artwork here. Uh, Ravinia... Uh, Ravina Kai. Nicely done. Uh, it kind of looks like grungy and stuff. I don't know. I, I, I like it. The final countdown. <laughs> it's the final countdown. Da -da -da -da. I remember who, there was someone in, um, when I used to work at Waffle House, because I did, um, a past job, not my current job. That's not really hospitality. <laughs> um, they had, I think, the Rocky theme song and, like, a promotional video in the back. And <laughs> my friend, like, not my friend, my co-worker kept getting these those two confused. The Rocky thing with um, the Final Countdown. Because the Rocky... Da -da -da, da -da -da, da -da -da, you know? <laughs> and... <laughs> they were like, oh, I can't get the damn song out of my head. They play in the background. Da -da -da -da. I'm like, no, you. that's not the same. Anywho, okay. Without any more rambling and trying to avoid <laughs> um, giving Godfather all the money, all the dollar dues, Buddy Palm Ninja, or AO, just to complete the dragons. The verdict is, survey says, final answer, Lion Sash. Ah, okay. Damn, though, Godfather, you're good. Let me know if you would like something printed, um, and I will I will send it to you. for Not only for calling this out, like, you know, definitely spurring on by this, but also just for, like, just for no... That's my S for buddy. Um, also, just for supporting the channel, and just, like, being there and being awesome, you know? Like, solid guy. And let's see, also, I guess you gave me a Prime sub already? So, like, hell yeah, that's cool, too. <laughs> I will I'll double check here, just because... I know I didn't craft any. I didn't craft any ninjas. Aside from Kaito. Uh, Dex. Uh, collection. I also want to check that march of painful fish glaring. Um, if I did craft all... If I have all four already, then I will go ahead and do whatever I have. Biting. I have two. So it was still in the pool to be opened. Uh... There you go. There's the proof that it was not rigged against you, and luck that was my fourth March of Burgeoning Life. So, no more of those. Why couldn't those two Marches have been two more March of Otherworldly Light? Ugh. 
All right. Oh, uh, yeah. Be in touch. I've obviously, are, are you already in my Discord? Uh, I believe you are. Uh, let's see here. Oh, I have something else open here. Discord. Uh, maybe? I do not know. But you know where to get me. You can just mention me here. And yeah, dude. Like, if, if you want, like, a heart box, just because, you know, all is love. <laughs> uh, or if you want something else, I have... This is a dice tower. It is showing up horribly, even though it's just white. But it's a dice tower. It's, like, got the bowl in the front. Uh, I have another dice tower over here. I do plan on selling these um, on Etsy. It's just, like, um, kind of like a... It's supposed to be, like, a goblin, like, fortress tower kind of deal that's, like, spiky and stuff. I know it's not showing up super well. But yeah, um, I have other things. If I I got stuff, dude. So if you want any like D and D miniatures, I got you. And even if I don't have the rights to sell them, I'm giving them away. Therefore, that is perfectly fine. It's all good, dude. I don't I don't mind. I did a giveaway early on when I first started streaming. When I got like my first ten subs, I gave away um the little Sensei's Divining Top um life counters. And that went pretty well. Okay, as far as YouTube goes, though, if you want to be part of, you know, part of the excitement and part of the giveaways potentially in the future, and just, you know, if you want to just be part of the community, feel free to join. There's a link down below to the Discord. Obviously, you can subscribe to the channel if you want to, if you don't want to miss any more videos. I will be posting gameplay of the deck of the Esper or Destroyer Super Friends deck that I craft after having all those packs. So, yeah, stay tuned for that. And until... <laughs> Next time, I guess. And again, this is just for YouTube. If you want to just watch the stream, I'm going to keep on playing. And then, good night or good morning, depending on where you are in the world. But as always, good luck.